Okay, guys, so there was a little bit of technical difficulties due to, I guess, Wi-Fi or something. So I hope you guys can find the other live that I had to open up. But what's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Ms. BG, and I am back with another live cooking video. So, guys, we are going to cook what I call... I call, not everybody call this, the survivor meal. Oh, turn this down. Yeah, it was some difficulties, guys. I know a lot of you were waiting, so I hope you were able to find this one. I hate when the Wi-Fi acts up like that. I'm guessing that's what it is. And I think right now, because a lot of kids are in school using, um, I use Spectrum. I think that's what it is, y'all. So come on in to my live cooking video. But I think with everybody using Wi-Fi, that could be an issue. So I think that's what happened. I hope that's what happened. We turned it off and turned it right back on. But guys, I am cooking what I consider a survival meal. Um, all black folks know about the survival meal. I'm just going to keep it 100. You know, the sugar bread, the egg sandwiches, all that good stuff. So, I'm going to show y'all what my down-to-the-wire kind of college kid limited food meal was, okay? So, actually, I'm missing a couple of ingredients. I'll be back. Good morning, everyone. How you guys doing? I should get the ingredients. Get off my camera. <laughs> Here, it. Here you go. No, no, no. Go ahead. Too late. Oh, hi, babe. I did. Okay. So, guys, I am going to make. It's not hamburger helper. It's actually the same thing, but it is like um, the cheap way. Hamburger helper is actually cheap. But what I would do for a survival meal, I'm going to to show you what I have. This technically, I would rec actually re prefer to use, I use macaroni, um, actual macaroni and cheese with the cheese sauce. So I will use one box of macaroni and cheese with the cheese sauce with ground beef. So I had ground beef left over from my spaghetti the other day. So that's what I'm going to use. The leftover ground beef inside of these noodles. But what I am going to use today is um, Velveeta. I have diced tomatoes. So the Rotel diced tomatoes. And then also have, it looks bright. I already cooked my noodles, so my noodles are already well cooked. Alright, so I'm going to put the ground beef, of course, in my skillet. It's already heated up. What y'all doing on this Monday? Happy Monday. It's a brand new week for everybody. Tracy, I pray you made it back safe and sound. I think my thing needs to get clean today. My um, linen is in the office. I can hold it. Did you? How was your uh, ride back home, Tracy? If you made it back home yet? <laughs> Are you still on vacation? Hey, Stacy. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Carolyn. Good morning, Tony. Hello, Miss Barbara. How are you? Sorry, guys. It's gonna get dark for a second. <laughs> we gotta clean the land. Hi, Johnny Meeks. Johnny Meeks. What's up, Chris? What's up? Hey, Deb. Good morning to you. What's up, Lisa? What y'all doing on this Monday morning? So as you can see, I wrote that I am preparing my, this ground beef was frozen. It thawed out, but y'all know how it is in the middle. And the middle don't do what it's supposed to do, right? 
Betty girl. Huh? Betty girl. Love you too. Well, let me check to make sure. Hey, good morning, Sonia. Good morning, Carla. Hey, another girl. Grand Rising. Brilliant Bree. What's up, boo? Happy birthday to Sparkle. Bree Bear, my boy dog, his birthday is actually the day after Christmas. <laughs> Yep, he going to be. I think he's going seven. That's my baby. I dabbed with tumor. Yeah, too bad. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me get my seasoning, y'all. And Chris, he, he knew I was late, so he was like, turn the camera on. Which is a good thing. And so. Um, I didn't get my season. That's okay. I got it now. Thought. Ooh, this also too much. Morning, Tracy. <laughs> she said my bad. <laughs> what? It's all good in my room. Good morning, Daddy girl. <laughs> now this needs to be open. So guys, I'm making what I call a survival meal, like a college student survival meal. It was my survival meal, okay? This is what I had. Ground beef, let me turn this down, mixed with macaroni and cheese, with the actual cheese box. So today I'm gonna try with Velveeta, Rotel tomato slices, and ground beef. And it's a quick meal. So say for instance, you don't have as much money. You got pandas in the cabinet. I do, go in the cabinet. Grab it, quick meal, just like that. Then, Chris never had the Kool-Aid pie. So, I'm going to make a Kool-Aid pie. A fruit Kool-Aid pie. So, that's going to be interesting. He even asked me for a banana pudding. I'm like, dang it. Thanksgiving is coming. Just wait a second. But, I know y'all don't want me to use metal. I have to use this phone. You Sorry. gotta put a can of corn in here. That's good. Wait. Oh, really? You had this too? Okay. So it's kind of like Hamburger Helper, but it's better because, you know, Hamburger Helper has the powder cheese. This is actually the milk cheese. So I think it's better. Actually, the macaroni box is easier because you just pour the cheese sauce. You're actually going to make the cheese sauce with the Velveeta. So. Velveeta is better, um, better cheese than you are. It's better cheese, I agree. Unless you have like the, what is it, the Velveeta, Velveeta um, macaroni mm -hmm. noodles. That cheese sauce is the same, you just melt it. Yep. She can't read it. I don't in, think I have. Huh? <laughs> you can't read the comments and do a lot. <laughs> I can. I, I could try. But I really can't. But, um, you can tell me. I don't have a can of corn. I don't have a can of corn. I never tried it with corn. Actually, I never really tried it with real tail dip, if you want me to be honest. Yeah, the, the, the powder cheese is nasty, Deborah. Yeah, I prefer the actual cheese. Powder cheese is something different. Did you guys turn light on? Yeah, the powder cheese is a little, little strenuous, a little different. Alright, so I'm going to start with my cheese sauce. Sonia said she did ramen noodles. It still looks right. That's okay. 
You did ramen noodles too. <laughs> yep, ramen that would, noodles. That would be a great sandwich. Great sandwich? <laughs> I ain't never heard of a great sandwich. It's that sandwich. oatmeal. Oh yeah, oatmeal was that. Banana sandwich with mayo. Oatmeal was the, was the thing. I never, I never heard Banana of that. Banana with one. mayo? No, I ain't never heard of that. What? Spaghetti spam and fried broccoli. I mean, what bologna. was it? Spaghetti spam, fried bologna. <laughs> Y'all had a jail sale. <laughs> <laughs> what? I never had spam though. Honestly, I've never had spam. Is spam good, y'all? Fried bologna sandwiches. It's that daddy said when my dad good my dad good the same meals were cooked was out mm -hmm. some my survival meals when mom was at work. Oh wow. That's how it be though. Dad can't cook. Yeah, Our dad I can cook. survival meal was McDonald's. I can cook. Cook. Yeah. Oh yeah, Chris can cook. Barbara said pork and beans with Frank's. <laughs> yep, that's how we had it too. We had to have um, we had to have pork and beans with hot dogs cut up in it. Had to cut the hot dogs up. Oh, Tracy said a government cheese. <laughs> I don't. Well, we may have had government cheese. The block cheese. I've mm -hmm. heard of it, but I don't think we. I think by then, Mama was out of nursing school. Yeah, Miss Peace had hot dogs and spaghetti. Hot dogs and spaghetti. And Tony said um, eggs and rice. Eggs and rice. I don't think we did rice, but we did definitely we did egg sandwiches. We did egg sandwiches for sure. Oatmeal and toast, spam, yes, and everything fried. <laughs> Stacy will say. <laughs> <laughs> everything fried. Latisha said hi. Hey, Latisha. Yeah, Latisha. I'm sorry, Latisha. Hey, Mimi. What's up, beautiful Mimi? How are you today, beautiful? Okay, so Tracy said my dad was in the military and used to bring home that and Tang. Tang used to be oh, popular yeah. back then. <laughs> I remember Tang. You had Tang good? Yeah. Miss Love said love. cucumber sandwiches. I've never heard of that. <laughs> they one. actually... Um, cucumber sandwiches is known for like hors d'oeuvres during a co cocktail hour. Yeah, she said her grandma used to um, make them. They so good. Used to do what? Her grandma make them. Cucumber sandwiches? Yeah. Yeah, those are kind of like, it depends on how you make them too. They're kind of like high scale. And you put the little um, toothpicks in them. The little fancy toothpicks. I have a lot of those. But... Hey, they come with a lot of meals. Egg, rice, and sausage, store fry. Put butter in here, y'all. It's an egg, rice, sausage, and stir fry. Yeah. It's a lot of survival meals out there. Mimi said, I hope you recognize her. She changed her name. No, I do see her. I see you, Mimi. I said, how was your day, girl? How you doing? And Tracy, well, how's your morning? Tracy loved egg, fried egg sandwiches. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know if ours was, I think it was fried. Yeah, egg sandwiches was a major hit. I don't know why in our household. What about, okay, wait, syrup. So, um, Rochelle said tomato soup and grilled cheese was theirs. Tomato soup, yep, everybody did tomato soup. That was always our lunch, like when my dad and my mom, when they were married, and dad would call us in, he'll always do um, tomato soup. Good morning, C.L. Brown. Frying cheese, though. <laughs> <laughs> Frying the cheese. I gotta put some milk in here. I gotta get some milk up in this pot. So, so guys, we have 36 people. We have only 17 likes. We gotta get those likes up. Where the likes, y'all? Come on, Love Jones. Come on. Hey, Rose. Good morning. How are you, beautiful? Have a blessed day, too. Putting some milk in here. So this is what she's doing so far. It's my survival meal, y'all. <laughs> we gonna see if we gonna survive. Okay, this ground beef is finished, y'all. So I'm gonna drain this. Turn the stove off. Pour this in the strainer. Tracy like says syrup, syrup sandwich when she wanted something sweet. <laughs> oh yeah, we did syrup sandwiches. Anybody else say syrup sandwiches? That was it. Deborah. Mm-hmm. I think these too many noodles. That's way too many noodles. 
Unfortunately, let me get a zip Hold on, babe. So, guys, she went back into the hallway. <laughs> I had to go in the pantry, y'all. So we're gonna see how how this one turned out today. Yesterday, the other, yesterday was good, pretty good. She ate mine as well, so <laughs> I'm thinking I'm gonna be stingy with this one today. It was Saturday. Yeah. Saturday. So we're gonna see how how this turned out today. Uh, I can't wait for my banana pudding though. Mm -hmm. This is a Christmas one or a banana pudding. I was like excited to wait for <laughs> Thanksgiving. But I'm gonna do him a personal one, a little pers personal banana pudding. Barbara says she want a uh, homemade peanut butter cookies. Oh, that sounds good. I'll do that. I'll do that, Barbara. That actually is the season for me to be baking. That was that sugar butter sandwich. Sugar butter? Yes! Melt the butter on the bread, damn! <laughs> See, 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 Miami, she, Mimi, know I like. She like sweet potato pies and banana pudding. Those my favorite. Oh yeah, I'm gonna throw it down. Those my favorite. Stay tuned, y'all. You know your girl gonna be putting it together. I got all my mom's recipes, so. She make Tracy make buttermilk pies for the holidays. Buttermilk pies. Yeah, she gonna have to send us one. Oh, that sounds good, Tracy. She gonna have to send us um dry ice it to us. Tracy, is that like a family recipe or or everybody just know about that? And I don't. <laughs> Because my mom, what she did was peak butter, uh, not butter pecan, Lord. I love butter pecan ice cream. But she did um, pecan pies. I know all those recipes. Apple pies. Of course, I could make whatever I, I could read. Um, apple pies, butter pecan pies, potato, potato salad, sweet potato pie. What else? I made so many cake, uh, pies, y'all. Rochelle asks, as we, as we cooking for the, uh, Thanksgiving? Yep, we are. It's gonna be small. Like we're not having no company, actually. Kind of cutting back on that. I, I never heard of a sweet potato cake. I did on Ro Facebook. Yeah, Rose Wilson says she had one. A sweet potato cake. Yeah. I think I seen that on Facebook. I'm cooking my cheese down, y'all. My cheese sauce. Okay, I might have to look that one up. I never I think I seen here. that. No, I never, I never had it, but I think I seen that on Facebook. Miss K, K's um delicious treat. Mm -hmm. She make that. She makes sweet potato cake. That's who did it, and she does the banana pudding cake too. Carlita said it won't let her, it won't let her like the live, to like the video. YouTube been tripping, y'all. I noticed a lot of um. YouTubers been complaining about stuff like that, so you probably got to go out and come back in. And Christina says peach cobbler is her favorite. Oh yeah, I'm making peach cobbler too. I was not a fan of peach cobbler. I would also, y'all have to stay tuned. I'm going to do, um, we're going to do shopping for Thanksgiving. And I'm going to do, since it's like um, quarantine, everything is obviously minimized because there's no family. We usually do a really big family either at my house or out at a location. A haul, but this year we're not gonna do that. So this is probably the first year we have a very small, like me and Chris kind of Thanksgiving. You know, um, I think it's the best thing to do right now with the pandemic. But um, I don't want my cheese burning, so I'm kind of like monitoring it. I need Cole Taylor Crawford. Hey Nicole, girl. Good morning. Um. Hey Pamela. So, hey Pamela. So I'm gonna do um something that's feasible for for like a small gathering. So I'm gonna show you how to make a Thanksgiving. Minimize your ingredients. Minimize all that you need instead of doing like a huge serving for not a lot of people because this year we shouldn't be i think a lot of people are still gonna gather but i'm not so it's sad my family called trying to see what we're gonna do but you no know, i'm thinking to be on the safe side we're gonna not do that not do that i keep putting milk in because i don't want my cheese to be too thick so that's i melted velveta cheese with uh, um had a, mm, two, two teaspoons of 
tablespoons of butter, milk, and I'm making it, I'm melting it. Y'all know how y'all do with, when you cook your um banana pudding, your pudding. Oh my goodness. That was probably the worst thing. That is one of the worst things when I cook <laughs> for Thanksgiving. The banana pudding. You got to catch the burn, take a towel, get it out, all that. Uh-uh. So, so these guys, we had a debate, like, what meat do you have on Thanksgiving? <laughs> yeah. I told Chris, we had, what'd you have? What's your mom? Um, either, my mom, but like, we never had a turkey, we always had a ham. Okay. So, when I was growing up, as my, I got my own household, so we started having turkeys. Mm -hmm. And so for us, we always did turkey. It depends, like, over my, at my... In laws, my my sister and them family, they did they did duck. I think they did duck too. It might have been on Easter, but um, my mom tradition was turkey. Um, we did roast turkey, roast and ham. That was our and my mom was not she did not eat pork um, growing up. So some people have deer. What they call venison? Really? Yeah, venison. Yep, they have some. I know people have um, bear. I was approached with, mm -hmm. this is what happens when you house hop on Thanksgiving. <laughs> I was that teenager who had the house hop click, okay? We were like, okay, your, your grandma cooking, your auntie cooking. So I went by. And got something you didn't want. Oh, my God. <laughs> y'all, hello. I ended up eating raccoon, y'all. Mm -hmm. I had coon. We was tearing it up. We was hungry. Like, what is this? I think we had mm -hmm. smoke. You know what I'm saying? Because I back then, ain't no shame in my game. But that's my little testimony. I used to be a smoker. And we gonna, we learned our lesson. I think I had, I was, I was very hungry. I was very hungry. And because I was very hungry, I was very deceived. And it was like, God, it tastes like chicken. And I'm like, why do you keep asking me this? If it's chicken, it's chicken. It is what it is. And my friends knew exactly what it was. But your girl didn't. Your girl didn't know what was going on. And so they kept waiting on me to finish. And then there it was. They hit me with it. Yeah, C.L. Brown said she wants chillings. <laughs> you want chillings? I can cook chillings. I don't eat them. I don't like the smell of them. I told Chris, I was like, you want chillings? You go clean them. <laughs> mm -hmm. so we, won't, we won't be having chillings this year because I am. Uh, you eat them, but you don't like the smell. I don't like, I don't like the, cooking, the cleaning process. Yeah, I don't. Mm -mm. We had to clean them. We were like tortured. Tracy said they got her with rabbit. <laughs> oh, oh no. Mm. Yeah, rabbit. That's that Memphis, that down south stuff. Yeah, we not. She's not from North Carolina. She said you cook like it. Mm. <laughs> nah, she's black. <laughs> we all have like almost the same kind of like stuff. I can cook anything, y'all. Literally anything. If you say you want it, I can cook it. I just put my extra little, sometimes I put my own touches to it, but I can actually cook anything. Thanks to my mom. How many of you guys seen the shirts yet? You guys see my merch on the community tab? Cross, the Cross family said hi. Hey, Cross family. What's up? And happy Monday. Okay, see. My can openers. I need an uh, electrical can opener. I need to upgrade. Because I have two very nice looking can openers. That's just like, I'm going to have to get ghetto with it. She'll get one today, guys. I'm going to have to get ghetto with it, y'all. <laughs> okay, she's moving. Y'all know what that means. Get ghetto with it. <laughs> let, me, let me see. Let me see that. Let me see that. He knows I'm closing. He's like, wait a minute here. Give me, give me that. Give me, you take your camera. Give me this. Go ahead. I got it. Let's see what you can do. So, I have my Kool-Aid pie, y'all. I like to put fruit on my Kool-Aid pie. I do. I like to put um, mandarin oranges. We got some of my leftover blueberries. My leftover berries. So, I'm going to put that on there, too. I'm looking forward to seeing... Chris think about this Kool-Aid pie. Yeah, I never heard of that before. You never heard of Kool-Aid pie? I didn't either until Cindy made it. Yeah. 
Sin City had made it. <laughs> Sin City made it. I didn't make it once on this channel, but obviously your channel grows. Hey, I'm still waiting on what? We want this prank. <laughs> I'm not. I don't want to see no prank. I don't want to get pranked. Pranks just don't want to get pranked. Hey, we hit the um like, so it's up to him. Like He got to stand up to no. his thing. Please don't do it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to prank you. So I'm putting my rose cell dip, my sliced diced tomatoes, and two my cheese sauce, y'all. That. Mm-hmm. I ain't putting the whole can, but I'm putting a good amount. Um, Stacy said you can eat frog legs too. Yeah, I heard that. I, won't I don't them, think I want frog legs. I did hear of um eating frog legs. I have never tried them, literally, but I have heard um I had them at I didn't have them, but I had um I seen them at a buffet. In Michigan. Yeah, I actually seen them at a buffet in Michigan, y'all. It's kind of crazy. I'm kind of a baby to this stuff because I never had deer. I never had raccoon, snake. <laughs> I never had none, nothing uh, exotic, as I they had, say. I, I, I think if you're used to what you were raised eating, it's kind of like weird to step out, but it's good. Some people like to explore different foods. But they said everything tastes like chicken. <laughs> everything do. That was like, I can't believe this. But when I realized what it was, that's when I was like, okay. I think because we, we kind of used to eating chicken, so everything tastes like chicken. Mm -hmm. Like if you get used to eating a certain kind of meat, everything tastes like that meat. It tastes like chicken. <laughs> it tastes like chicken. Put some more tomatoes in here. Huh? <laughs> they said, that's how they trick you. You think you're eating chicken and yeah, eating something else. I was really appalled. I was appalled. I'm like, and the crazy part was it was good, but I would never eat it again. Have you ever eaten turkey tail? No. My mom put the turkey neck though. She saved that little nasty part that was inside the turkey. Y'all know what y'all need for the dressing? She made that with the broth for the dressing. So, she made that with the broth for the dressing. So, I know how to do dressing. I sure do. I never ate turkey tail. Mm. I never really ate the big, my mom always ate the big turkey wings too. She did something with them wings. You talking about the, um. Beefed up ones, <laughs> the up, up normal big old turkey legs. Oh yeah, they do those. Oh YouTube, I may try one of those though, but you gotta cook it right. Like I seen some people who's like really looking nasty. It was tough. Yeah, I don't like that. 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 Yeah, I don't Y'all remember the macaroni in school? Maybe this is the macaroni in school because they had like tomatoes in it, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Feeding us some survival food. <laughs> so I got my elbow noodles, my, my ground beef, seasoned ground beef, and I'm adding my cheese, y'all. I have to get some turkey wings. I will eat turkey wings. I have to okay. on my channel. What's you got all the cheese out of there. I sure did. We don't. When it's a survival, you gotta get everything. I mean everything. <laughs> that side. Okay, so we are gonna mix her on in there, y'all, like that. Yes. And if you have like shredded cheese, that's fine. I always top my macaroni with shredded cheese. If you got half and half milk, that's good too. That's always good. But if you don't, use what you got for survival. Mm -hmm. See how cheesy that is? Mm. With the Velveeta. Let, let me just dig that right on in there. Yeah. She good. She gonna be real good. Chris gonna taste it. Say, oh Lord, how you gonna say it look good? Say, oh Lord. 
Yeah, I know. I know about the plastic spoon. I had did a disclaimer ahead of time and said I ain't using no plastic spoon today. <laughs> Y'all know how many plastic spoons I done broke? Have you tried bison? But I will, Benson. Bison. I will use this though. Miss W said if you try bison. I will use this. I use this a lot, but my metal spoon is my baby. These pots, they even been through the fire, trust me. I don't want to eat the metal, but I get what you're saying. Miss who? Miss um, W. W. Have you tried bison? I haven't. I haven't tried bison. What's bison? That's like a you buffalo. No. Oh, no. But I have some African friends. Like, y'all, I think y'all met Rosie. She is my best friend. Bless and favor just came in. Hey, bless and favor. <laughs> Welcome to the live. Don't forget to like all of those who are just coming in. Um... But most of my um, African friends, my best friend Rosie, oh, this is burning. She actually, it must be grease. Oh, you know what? The cake batter that I made for the mm -hmm. church. But I had washed it. Why is it still smoking? Mm -hmm. I literally washed it. It's still on here. Um, they eat goats. Like one of my friends for Thanksgiving, she went and got a goat's tongue. They eat goat. <laughs> Tracy says she tried a nibble gator. <laughs> nibble what? Of gator. Oh, no. Yeah, they cook gator. That's that down south eating, I think. You might eat it here, too. I don't know. Crystal said, you ever ate a turtle? Turtle? No. <laughs> I don't know if I want to eat a turtle. <laughs> Poor turtle. <laughs> so, where's my... Uh... No, I haven't eaten turtle. The weirdest thing I've eaten, y'all, was to me... Was was um I should have made my dishwater was the right home that was it they tried to kill me they was laughing y'all like girl that was good I was like I'm about to kill y'all Stacy says she ate turtle rabbit squirrel possum oh my. gator duck deer and goat <laughs> You ain't playing. And Barbara used to say her grandma used to eat pig tongue. Eat what? Pig tongue. Ooh. Barbara, where's your grandma from? Where's she from? Where's she from? Where's grandma from, girl? They ate that turtle soup. Nah. <laughs> turtle soup? Barbara's from North Carolina. Y'all, we gon' Chris, you gonna do it with me? Try aqua foods? Animals? Um, <laughs> ha ha, you like no. You gonna do it with me? Miss Debbie said like, cow tongue is good too. Cow. I, I never heard of cow tongue. And the co ate pig ears. I was scared when I seen the goat tongue. The goat tongue was pretty long. Huh? Um, the co ate pig tears. Pig tears? Ears. Ears. I was like, tears, ears. Like, <laughs> Pig ears. <laughs> 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 Y'all know what the Trying to drag me in with her. Yep. If we get a hundred likes, Chris gonna do it. <laughs> Good thing we only got thirty nine. <laughs> right now, thanks to YouTube, they do the road, the playback like the next day and stuff. Unless you are subscribed. So we got 52 people on here, but only thirty nine likes. So 39 we're not gonna likes. get the hundred. So I ain't gonna eat it. <laughs> we gonna get the hundred. Give him that hundred so he can do what he gotta do. Give him that hundred. So we finna do the Kool-Aid pie, y'all. That is done. I need to find the top. But that is done, so. Wow, we're gonna do the Kool-Aid pie. I'm gonna get 
get close up and personal on this one, guys. So we want to see how really? she make it. <laughs> yep. Might be doing it wrong though. You know, I'm not the pro to cool that box. I'm not the pro. You're about to ask Andy how to do this one. <laughs> she got a video. show my um ancestors ingredients too now <laughs> i gotta show my grandma who can get down too okay just just tell me what she made give me her her recipes that's what it's gonna be not yet i can't share the, the secrets with so you, you just you yet. really telling me you want to cook for Thanksgiving? Look, look i can't share the secrets with you just yet just you, yet you really want them to do Thanksgiving? exactly he's shaking his head yeah. i wish i could I see him he's playing games he's talking about some no <laughs> Really? No, no. You see how no, quick he does me? That's not right. Y'all are women and men, whoever cook can testify, your feet be gone. My feet, every Thanksgiving, I just lost my mom, I would say, a year ago. And the last Thanksgiving, she was here, but usually when my mom, she would sit and tell me, like, her stuff, I'm pretty expert at it now, but my feet be gone. I don't worry, she'll get a foot massage. <laughs> Tracy, I will, but I don't do YouTube. This all for my baby. <laughs> At least I should do a cooking live one day. We can see. I mean, we'll see what Chris can do. We'll but see. I did that. I did the cake. <laughs> I made the cake. Oh, yeah, he did do the cake. So if you haven't seen that video, bag up. And I'll probably will have him do another one. They said so, I'd do a cook-off live challenge. Cook-off live? Oh. We supposed to do that. They didn't give us our likes, so we didn't. We do did it. get our likes. On which video? On the the bacon, the one you bake. I'm about to go back and see. Oops, don't do that, y'all. I actually wanted to get an Airbnb and do that. A bigger kitchen. A bigger kitchen, y'all. My kitchen is is decent, but it's mm -hmm. not big enough for a cook off. Cause we'll set the camera up and kind of run around the kitchen. But we gonna do that, y'all. I promise. We got a lot of um, holiday stuff coming up, so that is going to take place, but that is definitely on the agenda to do a cook-off and feed him real good. We got to have a... Uh, hey. Uh, hey, look, I give my props to the women, yes, but everybody know the better cooker is the men. Oh, y'all get them. <laughs> there are honestly my 
my brother can cook better than me. My brother is a better cook than me, but not all men can cook. I didn't say all men, but the, think about the um, Ooh, put like this. If you go to a five star restaurant, mm -hmm. you go to upscale restaurants, they have men cooks. Okay. Men the women, the women can get down, but if you get that man that know how to cook and get in that kitchen, he gonna be there. every time. But think about it. we learned it. We got our skills from our um, exactly. mothers. Exactly. Hello. So that's where we go back to. <laughs> we won. You lost. How about that? Yeah, but right now, you're my woman, not my mother. So let's see who's going better. <laughs> really? Okay. You've been eating my food all this while. Well, of course. How has it been? Um, you are my woman. Aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Different. I'm gonna put a, a little pinch of everything, y'all. This is gonna be just very different. Very different. Very different. I'm so thinking, it is. I'm thinking when she has some Kool Aid, she's gonna make some Kool Aid for me. <laughs> I have never made Kool Aid for Chris because I don't drink Kool Aid. I really don't. That's, that's I why I was baffled. Like, why she wanted Kool Aid? High school days. <laughs> like, why she want Kool Aid? <laughs> We're like college days, my high school college days. Yeah, he went and picked this up for me. My little straggler. Fragments that I forgot to get. So. Yeah, that's some things I can cook better than she can. Some things she can cook. That's true. I, I do have to agree with that. He can cook Rotel really good. <laughs> 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 you gotta cook for me more again. Because I don't know. She said Kool Aid was part of the survival meal. <laughs> uh -huh. We always did Kool Aid. Yeah, I, I thought she might make some Kool Aid. I'm like, we ain't been drunk Kool Aid. I don't know when. She wants some Kool Aid today. What's going on? <laughs> you learn new things, you know. <laughs> like, okay, I'll get, I get the Kool Aid. <laughs> you said that. Oh, I'm going to put this in here. Okay. Yeah, Kool Aid is is even with the subscribe um, people so they try and get you up there they still coming in so when you come in like if they try and get you up there they trying to see that cook off chris beat me on we gotta get a judge a non-biased judge mm -hmm. somebody who we need to find a judge we gotta find a judge <laughs> yeah we do we can't use your family or they yours judge, we can't use your family or mine because they're gonna vote for each other right they're gonna be like oh wait they Mix it all, y'all. All the way through. This is actually supposed to chill. It's really supposed to chill. You can't eat it right away. You gotta wait to chill. Y'all hear me singing? You got some tune, huh? Is that right? You wanna try it? You wanna taste the spoon? I'm gonna try it first. Really? You wanna taste the spoon? Y'all look how creamy that looks. That's whipped cream and condensed milk. Okay. So, she's mixed. Okay, Kool Aid is in the way. That's fine. So, now we're going to get the pie crust. So, y'all, I was like a grandfather's baby. And I would cook for my grandfather all the time. <laughs> She said, some days you'll be like Friday, Kool-Aid, no sugar. 
sugar in the Kool-Aid. Yep. That's how I always do. Hey, anybody ever put Splenda in their Kool-Aid? <laughs> Splenda? No. Oh. Mm -hmm. That sounds nasty. It's not made for Splenda. <laughs> it's not. Mm -hmm. It's not made for Splenda. Absolutely. Throw not. some sweet and low. <laughs> no. It's that word it is. Sweet and low. I don't knock it, but there's some stuff you don't use it for. Let me make sure. I like the, when I like mix my batters, y'all, I like to make sure the bottom is mixed all the way. So, it's going to be gone. Uh -oh. <laughs> the bowl is gone. So, I'm going to put, I'm trying to make Sorry, it so y'all can see. I got, I got it. I got the angle. Okay. I'm going to put this in here. Look at that. Look at, look at there. Look at there. This might be a little bit too much though for this. We're going to make it happen. Okay. Her down, you got a whole dinner hey, meal. We, we might have to put another um pie crust on. Yeah, we got plenty of pie crust. Yeah, we gotta get another one. Okay. Yeah, maybe we gotta get another crust. That's too much. That's not gonna fit. I need at least, I want these little miniature ones. All right, go, go get the crust. No, I want you to eat the um bowl. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to eat it. It looks like marshmallow, y'all. It really looks like marshmallow. Matter of fact, where is my, there she go, there she go, you know my bigger one, it might be in the dishwasher, okay, so, we're going to smooth this out, over here, the process. Not uh, not a Kool-Aid drinker, more like a tea person. I like tea. I do like sweet tea. I like hot tea too. Actually, I might have a cup of hot tea tonight to relax a little bit, but I like juice, lemonade. Probably shouldn't like juice like I do, but I drink the Vita ice, the ice drink, yeah. the sugar-free. We got more milk on that. So she got me started, we never stopped. I think that's more healthier. Better than soda, yeah, it has zero everything. And it has vitamins in it, so I don't know if they can see it, but it's zero everything. It's it's five, the water, five calories. Mm -hmm. You got vitamins and everything in it. Just waiting on um, sponsor deal to come tonight. <laughs> <laughs> right, we be promoting the mess out of them. They actually good. It's to me a soda replacement. It's good. I drink that. That is sparkling water, but it's good sparkling water. It's not just, you know, you know how sparkling water is. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. But that yeah. one is pretty good. That's why I was skeptical when she first introduced me to me. Like, like, I don't want no sparkling water. <laughs> but it's actually really good. Especially those of you who drank it and told me that it's good. It's pretty good. That it is. I'm going to put this aside. I'll make this one. Once we're done, we're alive. And then we got the fruits. We got the berries. Strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, and blueberries. Cold water. Always wash your fruit. Hmm? Always wash your fruit. Absolutely. Cold water. Cold water, y'all. I think her favorite is the um, strawberry, the um, sparkling, the ice. Oh, yeah. Strawberry, well, no, it's the... The kiwi strawberry. Oh, yeah, kiwi strawberry. Is that what it is? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they always have two flavors in one, which is even better. Um, it's Kool-Aid, but not stain. It ain't. It come up. Okay. So. I have the fruit. We're going to decorate, and then I have some mandarin oranges. Great value. Why not? Mandarin oranges, y'all. Yeah, they trying to get that hundred up. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be scared. I'm kind of scared. You said it. Got to mount up to it, baby. I'm going to do it. I just need to get them hundred. Okay. So, I'm 
I'm going to place. I said add a little amount of cream cheese in the second pie. It's delicious. Cream cheese with it? Okay, I'll do that. I gotta make sure I got some in there. I think I do. For my my um bagels. <laughs> Tracy just said, look at that hand you like that. <laughs> yep, it's coming. Get ready. Get ready for the takeout. These are blackberries, y'all. And then we got blueberries. I'm just gonna sprinkle it. Look at the little cute raspberries, y'all. They're so pretty. I mixed all of the Kool-Aid, y'all. So what you should do is cut the um, strawberries. Yeah, I'm gonna do the strawberries. I'm gonna cut those. That's why I'm doing those last. And how? Cut them and do what? And lay them out. On yeah. Them. More like on the outer. Yes, yeah, just put the, all that stuff in the middle. Mm -hmm. Cause we're gonna spread the strawberries out on the outer. Yeah, we'll do the, the cut the strawberries and then the mandarin. You might want to. You gonna put the juice in there too, or you just gonna pick no, them up? No, I'm just gonna do the mandarin oranges. I don't think I want to put these in here. <laughs> Everybody looking at it like, doo, yeah, no. Doo, doo, doo. I don't want to mess it up. I'm going to leave your berries. No mandarin oranges, sorry. Okay, so I'm going to cut her. Let me get my board. My board, me. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so push this up here. Rinse this off. So, guys, I was talking to her yesterday, and I was telling her. December is coming, so it's time for prank wars. Boy, bye. You didn't say that. And that's if she's she <laughs> for the challenge. She didn't. Yes, I did. Yeah, <laughs> you ready? When I prank Chris, y'all, he, he catch me for one, or he gets really sad. And I feel really bad. It's hard to prank him. It is. Yeah, but December is a, like... a whole new ball game. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Oh, you talking big. We gonna see. We gonna definitely see what you working with, brother. I already pranked him, y'all. I just didn't show y'all. The cross, I would try the vitamin water, but they put some stuff in there um, through the Coca Cola company. It was okay when Pretty Cent had it. It was great water and some vitamins, but now when the Coca Cola company brought it out, they added some preservatives and stuff to it, and it's not just water no more. I, that's what I said I used to when they um, 50 Cent had owned it him and a group of other people but they sold out to Coca-Cola brought it and they did some other stuff to it okay guys so it's hard they said you always give out your pranks because you laugh too much <laughs> I know it's hard I be feeling bad for Chris y'all it's hard to prank Chris because he be looking like what but that, that chip that potato chip if y'all didn't see Check it out. I did that. <laughs> I actually scared myself. I got my Kool Aid pie. So this has to be um, chilled. Chilled. So this can't be eaten right away. But you have to try this survival. What do I want to call this? Macaroni. Survival macaroni. Put some pies in the stores and sell them now. <laughs> right. This, this, everybody know about food. Right? But I can bake pies. I can bake my mom's pies. Those special pies. Alright, guys. So Chris is about to try. Yes, yes. Yeah, she got me in the being mean to me, prank. Like this with me. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the video kept stopping. I was like, I'm so sorry. Now that I laughed, but he didn't know. He didn't have a clue. He was just like, this is not cool. Like we are on a date. We were really on a date. We just showed y'all the date at the 
park, you know, just enjoying ourselves. And you want to act like this? Really? <laughs> like, what did I do? That was hilarious. Okay, so I had that on simmer so it can stay warm. So it's still warm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to get those for Chris. Yeah. How about that, Chris? What do you think? A little razzle dazzle? Look at the tomatoes, y'all. Ooh. Looks pretty good. Okay. The cheese got lighter, though, didn't it? You put a little milk in it. Mm -hmm. I don't like too. I like the cheese, but Velveeta is very rich. Okay. All right, we're going to the table, y'all. Um, hold on. Yes. Where's your plate? I'm gonna get it. Come on. Mm -hmm. No wait. Come on, go let's ahead. go. No, 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 go. Girl, girl, your plate. Come on, darling. I'm gonna eat that with you. Really? Y'all show me. Mm -hmm. Come on. I'm gonna get a fork. Right, she's trying to see if she plate. can get her plate too. Mm -hmm. We got, we got to make sure like, she tried with me. Let's see where it goes. I got you. I got you. <laughs> what you got? Really? All right, she got her flowers. You gonna show them? I bought them for myself, yo. <laughs> you gonna show them the flowers? No. Let's, let's see the flowers. No. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. She don't want to show her her flowers. This is a bad a flower video. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> <laughs> Have me some leaves from outside, y'all. No, uh, <laughs> How nice of you. Flowers. My roses. I gotta put them in the vase. In the vase. So. Sometimes Chris come over for breakfast and we hang out, you know, sometimes. He's not at work. Alright, so we share this plate. I'm gonna record you first. Because remember you eat first. After man, after man. Let's see. All right, guys. Here we go. Here he is. On the day to do your breakfast, he's been in there. Hey, man. Why is it loading? I don't know. Okay, here we go. The signal sucks, y'all. It's the kids at school. All right. Moment the truth. Let me get a. We got all the ingredients in it. Mm -hmm. I haven't eaten it. I didn't even taste it if it was seasoned right or not. You need water? No, you need your own plate. Really? You're not going to share it? <laughs> it's good? She needs her own plate, guys. Oh, dang. Well, that's good news. That's really good news. So it's good. One to ten. You need your own plate. Uh-uh. Okay. Well, that's still good news. You got your fork too, though. You mm -hmm. got your fork. So you can still eat with me. All right, y'all. Let me see what he's talking about. He's saying it's really good. Let me give him a bite first. Ha, ha, ha. Here you go. Survival mac. <laughs> Survival mac and cheese. Beef macaroni and cheese. Y'all, this is too good. I always do this, don't I? I wish they can, like, share the food with us and see for themselves. This is good. <laughs> OMG, y'all. I would even go as far as putting a little spinach in this. I love spinach, and I like to hide my spinach. So we need some cornbread to go with it. Mm -hmm. um, some green beans. And call it a meal. Oh, and it wouldn't hurt to put some chicken with it. This is really good, y'all. You trying to make me cook? <laughs> this is delicious. Mm -hmm. now, let me get that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like y'all okay. like said, she eat all the good stuff. Mm -hmm. She trying to eat all of it. This is actually good. I'm finna tear this up, y'all. As soon as we end this live, it's over. It's a nice pot size, too. Mmm. Mm. The cheese is just right. 
Not over. And the seasoning is good. It's really balanced. Okay. So anyway, y'all, I get out of ten. What you get out, baby? Your own. <laughs> <laughs> a ten. <laughs> he said he gonna give me my own plate. Okay. So that's a ten. That is pretty good, but you gotta eat that Kool Aid pie. And Chris got to tell y'all once it chill. Obviously, this is a live video, so it's not gonna be chilling time for y'all to see it. But Chris is going to um, let y'all know how that Kool Aid pie was. And we'll put a picture of it in the mm -hmm. next video, so you can see how it turned out. Yeah, this this is good. And Queens wear your crown. Send me this in my P.O. box. And I want you guys to check out her, um, go ahead and check out her website. I got it, hold on. I think I got it. On hand. I need to start putting in the description box. And guys, please check out her shirts. And my merch. See if you like it or not. Check out my merch, y'all. It's on the community tab. Hit the link. If you have the means to do so. Mm hmm if you have the means, you guys. And if you want her to advertise your in, um, the merchandise, P.O. Box. Yep, send your stuff to my P.O. Box, which is also in the description box. If it ain't in this video, check the other video. <laughs> but it is there, so send me something and I got you. I definitely got you. I feel like we should support one another. Debra's the homemade hamburger helper. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, no, no, it tastes better, though. It's way better because you can taste the real cheese. You can taste the cheese if you get what I'm saying. Like, the, mm -hmm. I'm going to get one more bite. Right? No, nah, I ain't going to get the last. I'll leave you the last, but I'm going to get another one. It's a, it's a lot of it in the pot, so we're mm -hmm. going to actually have a meal. We're going to put some bread with this. And we have salad in there, like a Southwest salad. We had... um. I invited Chris over for dinner the other night, and we had a Southwest salad with some catfish. With some spaghetti, we got a... We got a lot of whole lot of food. To cook over. too much, y'all. I be cooking, and y'all don't even be knowing about so it. We got to invite the lunch Jones to help us eat it all. Y'all got to help us eat. We got to do it. I'm going to cook for y'all. I am going to cook for y'all. <laughs> so get, your, get your mm -hmm. own, Miss Katrina. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I'm about to go get a whole bowl. Trust me, Stacy. I promise you. I'm going to tear it up. So guys, thank you so much for watching my live cooking video featuring Miss Kicking It With Sensity, Kool-Aid Pie, and Mr. Chris behind the camera. And don't forget to stay safe, guys. Don't forget to continue to quarantine and prepare a small Thanksgiving. Please, prepare a small Thanksgiving. God wants you to. He wants you to be safe. And you want your loved ones and your family to be safe. If it's not where you guys guys do not always write each other i would say distance yourself for your thanksgiving but thank you so much for watching my live video don't forget to like share comment and subscribe be safe be blessed let me Eb see what y'all saying hold on ebony she just just called us oh hey ebony i'm gonna end the live hello miss beautiful we so 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 missed you uh that's how you went down baby they said um C.L. Brown said YouTube had unsubscribed. So they oh, got to really? subscribe again. I did. I said YouTube did a sweep. Y'all know YouTube does a sweep and take away your subscription. Um, subscription. What is up with that? Who said that? C.L. Brown. Yeah. Sorry, C.L. Brown. Abby, you'll, you'll catch the next one. We'll be. I'll be back. I'm going to do a lot, a lot of live cooking videos, Ebony, because it helps my algorithm on YouTube. It does some things. So I'm trying to rearrange the business part of my YouTube channel. And this actually helps out. It's kind of different being on time with lives versus pre-recording and then uploading that video. But that's fine. And I get to in engage with y'all. That's the most fun part about um, doing my live cooking videos. Lives, period. We get to engage one-on-one -on -one with the Love Jones. So, yes, yes, yes. But I love you guys. Yep, they do a sweep. YouTube do a sweep. They sweep. Um, yeah, when you don't watch them, they delete them. The ones you don't watch. Yeah, the ones you don't want that don't watch you, they kind of delete unless you like watch here or there.
but they also just delete people. Okay, I'm mm -hmm. just gonna say it like that. That's what they do. Um, so you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Check on someone. Let them know that you love them. I love you, but God loves you more. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. See ya.